Welcome back, Java Minecraft players that want to play with shaders with Forge on their Android phone using Zaleth Launcher. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, hit that subscribe button because I want to try to reach 1 million subscribers before Mr. Beast does. Okay, I'm a little bit behind here, guys. I know he's at like 4 million subscribers now. So if you hit that subscribe button and I reach a million subscribers by December of 2025, I will poop my pants live on camera. I'm not lying. I'll do it. I'll poop my pants live on camera and then I'll give away some stuff to you guys. Now, the very first thing we're going to do here, guys, is make sure you take note that we are going to continue from our forge guide that taught you how to set up your forge mods in 2025 using Zaleth launcher if you didn't watch that video first go do that now make sure you take note that we are also using the mobile glues renderer which is very important and i taught you how to set that up in the very first video of this playlist that teaches you everything you need to know about setting up Zaleth launcher properly on your android phone click home now, the very thing that we're going to take note of here is that when we set up Forge, we did not install Optifine. Now, you can do this by clicking on Install New Version, go down to the version of choice, I'm gonna use 1.20.1, .1, and you're gonna see here that we can select Optifine, okay? But first, you need to select Forge, select on the latest version, and then click on Optifine, and select the latest version as of today because we're gonna be using the latest version of Forge and the latest version of Optifine for that version. Now, we're going to rename this. We're gonna name this Optifine, okay? Now, the reason why is because this is the easiest way to get Optifine without having to leave Zaleth Launcher. Click Download, click Confirm. Wait for it to install the necessary files and folders. Now, if you already have 1.20.1 .1 installed, all it's going to do is just basically get Optifine for us and set everything else up. Now, the reason why we're doing it this way is because instead of going to the Optifine website and jumping through hoops, we're going to get Optifine the easiest way possible. Now, if this doesn't work in 2032, then I'm sorry. Now, because we set up a path on our internal root directory of our phone, we're going to click on the home button, open up a folder called ME files, and you're gonna scroll down. I'm gonna make sure that that turns to your Java MC folder. If you don't have a Java MC folder, that means you didn't follow the video that I told you how to set this up. Click on dot Minecraft. If you don't see dot Minecraft, click on show hidden files, scroll down to see versions. And now you're gonna look for that version that said Optifine, go inside there. Go into the mods folder and see there's our Optifine jar file. You're gonna highlight that, long press on it, click the three dots, click copy to, go to the three lines, go to Bob's Donuts, scroll all the way down to javamc.minecraft, go to versions, and then you're gonna go inside that Forge Horror Pack mod pack that we created, go to mods and paste that in there. Now, what we can do is go back out and we can delete this folder. We can go long press on this. And the reason why we're gonna delete that is because we already have a Forge mod pack and we don't need another one. Now, if you don't have a Forge mod pack, then don't delete it, okay? The very, very common sense. Now go back out, back out again, back out, back out, and close out of everything, even this, 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 and go back into Zaleth Launcher. Now we're gonna go back in here, and as you can see, that folder is gone. Now if we go to return, click on the settings icon, go to mod management, we'll see that we have Optifine put in there. Now Optifine is used for shaders for Forge. So now we're gonna go down to our home icon, go up to our download button beside the settings icon, go to download shader pack, and then we're going to select our version, go all the way down to 1.20.1, .1, and we're going to click on search. Now we're going to select our filter for our actual um, loader. Now that doesn't really matter because it's going to just select based off of what we have installed anyways. And cheaters actually are for all loaders anyways. So I don't know why I even said that. And we're going to download the BSL shader. Click on 1.20.1 .1 and click on the latest version. Click confirm. Go to return and then download another shader like Makeup Ultra Fast. That shader pack is actually really good for low end phones. And click the latest version and download. I'm going to click on Insanity Shader because it's Halloween. I'm going to download that one and click return and return again. Now we're going to click on launch game and we'll be able to configure our shader packs inside of our game. Now take note again, in our very first video, I set my resolution scale and everything like that to be 50% and that'll help a lot with the actual resolution of the mod pack. Now with Optifine, we can actually set the resolution of the mod pack manually and I highly recommend you to follow this. So I'm gonna turn off my mouse, put the settings icon down here, 
and we're going to go into our options go to our video settings turn off my gui for a second and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into my shader packs and as you can see here on the right hand side there's render quality and shadow quality so what I'm going to do is click on BSL shader. It's going to load. And then I'm going to go to my render quality and I'm going to change this down to about 50%. So 0.5. Same with my shadow quality. You can start off with this. Now, what does this mean? So what this means is that we can actually set the actual quality of that shader pack based off of our device's performance. So if your device is acting up very badly, whatever, as you can see here, it says hey, this is what this does with that little highlighted message. Render quality is lowest. One is standard, high is slowest, okay? So that's what that means. So first we're gonna go to shader pack settings. We're gonna change this profile to minimum and click on done. Now you can also change other things like the style. I like classic to be my style. So click done again and you can do this for multiple different shaders. So make sure you change your shader options for every shader pack. And I highly recommend you to start at the lowest setting for every one of these. And the reason why is because phones don't handle rendering shaders very well, unless you have a very high performing phone like I do. So shadowless low is the one I'm gonna use and click done. Now you can change your other settings inside of here, which is for Optifine to show like your FPS if you want to. Um, your quality, you can change all that as well. So you can change your FOV effect, your bitmap types and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not gonna change anything in here. I'm gonna change my details. I'm gonna make sure my biome blend is turned all the way off. You can change your trees if you want to, to be fancy instead of fast because my default is set to fast as you can see right here. You can turn on your smooth lighting. I like to start off with 52% or 50% for smooth lighting, just like that. And your render quality and distance and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna turn that all the way down to the lowest render distance. And your animations, you can turn your particles to be off or you can turn off all your particles if you want to. Your other settings um, for performance and all that kind of stuff, you don't really need to touch. You can change your entity distance and all that kind of stuff as well. And that is basically it. So it's up to you. Dynamic lights, I like to turn that on as well. So details, I'm trying to find, there it is, entity distance right there. Turn it all the way down to 50%. And you can turn on your entity shadows. Uh, I'm trying to find the setting for that, but I do not see it. So we're just gonna ignore that for now. If you can find it, then comment in the comment section below. Animations, details, other entity shadows, where are you? Quality? Yeah, I don't see entity shadows, so whatever, it doesn't matter. Click on single player, and then let's go to a world and create a new world. Now, again, this is my horror mod pack, so this is going to be playing the broken script. If you didn't watch that video about how to set up mods, then go do that before doing any of this. I know you probably already did all this, so up to you. And here we go. We have a shader pack loading with 50% resolution and 50% of our actual shader pack resolution scale you might want to play like this especially if you're playing like the broken script or whatever so it's up to you how you want to play now the big thing here is that my device like i said i can change my resolution scale let's change this to a little bit higher now i highly recommend you not to do this while you're in game because it can crash your game every once in a while so there we go now this can help with the actual scaling of your actual world and stuff like that so still this might not look great to some people. As you can see in the top left hand side, you can see my FPS. I can go a little bit higher, but I can also go a little bit higher even on the actual shader pack. So I can go escape, go options, video settings. And again, I said not to do this while you're in the shader pack generally, but you can, you can change your render quality. And basically I'm gonna do 75%, okay? And that should be good enough for a phone, honestly, if you wanna just have enough shaders to be working on your device and that does make it look a lot better right to me it does at least and if you want to tell your friends hey i have a shader pack working then there you go and i still am getting like 900 fps so if i go here options video settings go to shaders i can change my shader packs while i'm in the game as well sometimes it takes forever to load it depends on your device but it'll load and as you can see here now we have the full creepiness of the broken script which i'm going to be playing soon on the channel because i think that'll be something that'll be fun for halloween season because i love horror you love horror comment in the comment section if you love horror if you don't love horror then comment in the comment section what you do love except for your mom or your dad or your brother or sister or whatever have a nice day enjoy